In this video, I'll demonstrate publishing to an Azure website directly from a GitHub repo. So I'll go and create a new site. Now I'll go in there and set up Git. So far it's the same workflow as if you were to push uh, directly from your local machine. But what's new is that I now have an option to deploy from GitHub. And if I choose that, I first get a dialog asking me to log in to GitHub. And now it's asking me to authorize the Azure portal to talk to GitHub. And that's a one-time step. Now it's giving me the list of everything I have on GitHub. So I'll go ahead and pick this one. And what this is going to do is associate the GitHub repository with this particular Azure website. And now it's, uh, we see the, the publishing is happening. So this is the initial state of the uh, GitHub repo that's been pulled by Azure. And now the site is live. And let's see what happens now when I make a change to this repo. So I have a clone of that repo on my machine here, and I'm going to uh, open uh, a file and just make a random little change. And I'm going to push it, but I'm not going to push it to Azure, I'm going to push it to GitHub. So if I do git remote v, I can see my only remote is a uh, remote to GitHub using SSH. So if I do git push origin, this is a standard push to GitHub, but when we do that, and if we go back to the portal, we see the new deployment kicking in. So what's happening here is that we're pushing to GitHub. GitHub is notifying uh, Azure that something is going on and then Azure turns back and pulls from GitHub. And here we are and we have our change.